The common peroneal nerve is the smaller terminal branch of the sciatic nerve. It travels along the medial border of the biceps femoris and then winds around the neck of the fibula, where it divides into two terminal branches, the superficial peroneal nerve and deep peroneal nerve. Before its division, the common peroneal nerve gives off several branches in the popliteal fossa. Branch to short head of biceps femoris, which is the only motor branch arising directly from the common peroneal nerve. Sural communicating branch, lateral cutaneous nerve of calf, and few articular branches for the knee joint. Now we will draw the branches of the two terminal branches of the common peroneal nerve, and we will start with the deep peroneal nerve. The deep peroneal nerve is the nerve of the anterior compartment of the leg and the dorsum of the foot. In the anterior compartment of the leg, it gives off four branches to the four muscles present in this compartment. Branches to tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, extensor digitorum longus, and peroneus tertius. Close to the ankle joint, deep peroneal nerve terminates by dividing into medial and lateral terminal branches. The medial terminal branch gives a motor branch to the first dorsal interosseous muscle and at the level of the first interosseous space divides into two dorsal digital nerves which supply the adjacent sides of the greater and second toes, thus supplying the skin of the first interdigital cleft. The lateral terminal branch ends in a pseudoganglion placed under the extensor digitorum brevis. From this pseudoganglion are arising branches to extensor digitorum brevis and articular branches to tarsal and metatarsophalangeal joints. Superficial peroneal nerve is the main nerve of the lateral compartment of the leg. It begins at the lateral side of the neck of fibula and runs through the peroneal muscles. It gives two motor branches for peroneus longus and peroneus brevis. It becomes superficial at the junction of upper two-thirds and lower one-thirds of the leg by piercing the deep fascia and divides into a medial cutaneous branch and a lateral cutaneous branch. Those two terminal cutaneous branches supply the skin over the lower one-third of the lateral side of the leg and greater part of the dorsum of the foot.